Hello people, I'm the Recalling for Gamer, and today I'm going to be talking about Superman and Batman, which was a book in the pre-New 52 that I absolutely loved and I really missed because New 52 didn't really have anything that matched it, and same with DC Rebirth, and so yeah, I'm going to be talking about that, how I missed the relationship between the characters of Superman and Batman, and the adventures they used to go on, and stuff like that. Before I get into that, I do have a quick sponsor, and that is this hoodie that I'm wearing. Uh, basically, the people over at Angel Jackets emailed me saying, hey, if we gave you a free Batman hoodie, would you promote our site? And I said, yeah. Yes, because you know I'm all about them free hoodies. So yeah, got a uh, Batman hoodie. If you want to go and get a hoodie like this for yourself, I'll link in the description. It's angeljackets.com. Also, they have a bunch of other jackets. Like if you hate money, they've got some really expensive ones that are really cool though. Like they have this Red Hood one that is based on the Arkham Knight Red Hood outfit and it looks awesome, but it's like 130 bucks. So it's, it's pretty expensive, but you do get what you pay for because this thing looks really authentic, like straight out of the game. But anyways, yeah, link in the description if you want to go check out the site, angel, angeljackets.com. So yeah, let's get into the topic of today's video. So yeah, Superman Batman was a book that I read a lot of when I first got into comics because my uh, comic shop had this huge bin of just Superman Batman comics. I'd go and I'd buy a bunch of them. They're a dollar each. I loved it. They were so great for me just starting out reading comics because these are two of my favorite characters and I love the relationship between them. The art for the most part was pretty good. There was some like shaky art but for the most part I enjoyed the art. Uh, you had Ed McGinnis who did amazing on Superman Batman Public's Enemies which is my favorite book out of the entire series. My favorite storyline of the entire series. It is amazing and I've talked about it before and some of you guys may have seen the movie but the movie doesn't do it justice at all. The movie is really bad to me like they took out stuff that was unnecessary and then some things like I understand cutting stuff for time but some things they didn't even cut out for time they literally took it out and replaced it with something else they didn't save any time it's just like why would you do that that doesn't make any sense like all-star Superman to me cut out stuff for time that made sense like we didn't need to see uh, Jimmy Olsen turning into doomsday in the all-star Superman movie and they cut that out and to me that made sense but this they cut stuff out and they replace it with other stuff that doesn't make any sense like the introduction to Metallo was really stupid and I don't I just don't get it. Anyways, yeah, basically, if you've seen the movie, you need to read the book. The movie does not do it justice. So yeah, Superman Battle Public Enemies is amazing. And that's the main story that I'm going to be talking about today. I'll talk about some other stories as well. But yeah, this story, the premise behind it is this giant kryptonite asteroid is coming towards Earth and it's going to destroy the entire planet. It's going to just kill everyone there. And Lex Luthor is currently president, so he tells everyone, he's like, yeah, well, I'm researching everything, my scientists, everything, they all say that the reason this thing's coming to Earth is because of Superman, that's why it's attracted to Earth. And so, then he says, yeah, I'm gonna give a huge cash prize to whoever brings Superman in. Like, whoever can do it, so every single supervillain, like in the DC Universe, is after Superman. And Batman is his best buddy, because it's pretty new for two, this is when these two guys are best friends, so Batman's like, yeah, you know what, you don't have to go it alone, I'll be here to help you. And so, that to me is just such an awesome premise of, like, two best friends against the world, because you got Superman and Batman, who are best buds going against all these different supervillains, and it's awesome, we get some great character moments throughout the story, we get some really cool stuff, we even get an interesting uh, part to where Superman and Batman are in the Batcave, and uh, Superman had just been shot by kryptonite like he got shot by uh, Metallo earlier with like this sort of kryptonite bullet and so he has like a shard of kryptonite in him Alfred does a operation to get it out of him but then the Superman from the future appears that's from this future to where like the kryptonite asteroid hit earth and everyone but Superman died like everyone's just dead so he's alone and he comes back and he's trying to kill Superman he's trying to kill his younger self and because he's like yeah you know I'm gonna prevent you from doing this so he's in the back cave he's beating the crap out of Superman he almost kills Batman but then Superman takes that shard that was in him earlier puts it in a shotgun and then shoots it straight at him which causes him to go back to his own time I thought that uh, part of it was really cool and a really cool element to have Superman from the future come back and try and kill himself I thought that was really interesting and then later on we get a part where they're in Washington Washington DC like near the Washington Monument and uh, Silver Banshee shows up she takes down uh, the Batwing and so it's Superman Batman versus Silver Banshee and then all these other villains show up after that it's really cool because like Batman and Superman are surrounded they're back to back and Batman's just like we can take them I think we can take them do you think we can take them and Superman's just like you always think we can take them so Batman's like all right then let's take them and it's, it's just like I love the dialogue between these characters and the relationship between them it's so great and I miss it so much in Rebirth like it sucks not having it anymore but yeah it's just great and they all take on like the 
tons of super villains and it's really cool. And then later on we get an assault on the White House where it's like the Bat family and the Superman family where they go and they attack the White House and Lex Luthor just like takes them all apart. It's really cool to see like all these guys trying to like to break into the White House. They get there. The only one that really stood a chance was Nightwing but Lex Luthor ends up taking him down and then Superman gets there. Basically Superman just went there to prove to Lex that he could stop that Lex wasn't untouchable because he goes he just basically just throws Lex into a wall and then just runs off because Toy Man has an invention for them that can stop this kryptonite asteroid and this is the uh, young Japanese Toy Man this isn't like the big bad Toy Man that a lot of people are familiar with and the invention that he has is just this giant rocket ship that can basically fly into the kryptonite asteroid and stop it from uh, destroying Earth and Superman wants to pilot it because he is Superman of course he wouldn't let anyone else do it and then they end up knocking it out like Captain Adam shows up and his power allows him to like take kryptonite ring and make it to where like it's way more effective on Superman he's able to knock him out and he's just like yeah I'm gonna pilot this thing so Captain Adam he goes he pilots it and he's able to take out the kryptonite asteroid while Superman's on earth fighting Lex and it's a really cool battle and all this kryptonite from the kryptonite asteroid ends up like you know exploding and some of it lands on earth and stuff and that sets up for a later storyline to where Superman and Batman go and they try to collect all the kryptonite earth and that's a really cool storyline but anyway yeah, I really miss stories like that. I love Superman Bad Public Enemies. It's a really interesting, fun story with this relationship between these two characters that I love that I really miss seeing and I wish we could see again, but that's what kind of sucks about Rebirth. I love Rebirth, but it sucks that they were like, hey, you know, we got Green Arrow and Black Canary back together again. We got all this stuff like, oh, we're bringing back classic characters, except Superman and Batman still aren't back to how they were, which really sucks. But yeah, that's just one of the many stories. There are a bunch of different Superman and Batman stories. You got one that which was like a reimagining of where they first met, which where they go on this cruise ship and they're both sort of fighting for Lois and then like do a death stroke and this Deadpool. It's basically Deadpool. It's supposed to be an alternate like an Earth 2 or some other Earth uh, death stroke, but it's just Deadpool and he shows up and they're both trying to kill Bruce Wayne and then like uh, Ultraman shows up and it's really, it's really cool. It's a fun story and then you got the search for kryptonite which I was talking about where they go around to all these different places including Atlantis and trying to get the kryptonite from there so that way to make make it Superman uh, make it safer for Superman to do his job there's also one where Superman switches powers to where his powers go to Batman Batman sort of goes crazy because he tries to uh, stop like crime all around the world all the time because he's Batman he's really just nutso and that was a really interesting storyline definitely one of my favorites from this whole series yeah there's just a bunch of interesting stories that I thought were really cool that I love seeing Superman Batman and Batman just go like two best friends go on these different journeys like different adventures together and I really miss it and uh, New 52 had a Superman Batman book which wasn't near as good and did not recapture the fun that this book had uh, I really really sucked like they did have some decent stories but for the most part it wasn't too great like I didn't care for the series they had like two good stories overall in it in the New 52 uh, Batman Superman book but the pre uh, series had a lot of good stories. Had some mediocre ones, like the Supergirl one, I didn't really care for. It wasn't bad, but it wasn't too great. I thought it was meh. And so, yeah, that's just, uh, that's my thoughts on it. I really miss it. I hope DC can somehow reestablish it, like somehow get it towards Superman, Batman, or Best Friends again, because I really miss that dynamic, and it sucks that we don't have it in Rebirth. Anyways, please let me know in the comments below. Do you miss the series? If you used to read Superman, Batman, or did you love the New 52 series? Please let me know in the comments below, and I'll see you guys in the next one.